In this video, I'm going to show you how to relieve bone-on-bone -bone knee pain in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that can give quick relief for bone-on-bone -bone knee pain, especially those caused by osteoarthritis or wear and tear arthritis of the knee. You can imagine with a bone-on-bone -bone condition, what we need to focus on doing is reducing pressure on the knee through pulling motions known as traction. And that's how these exercises work. They're really going to cause a deep stretch into that knee joint to hopefully give you quick pain relief. All of these exercises work just a little bit differently. So to get the best results, go through them all and use what gives you the most relief. As a bonus, all of the exercises can be done at home and you may find give quick knee pain relief even within 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix that bone on bone knee pain right now. So here's one of the easiest ways to traction your knee to get some quick pain relief. I call this one the bed method. We're going to start in bed on all fours. Whatever side that you're having pain or arthritis, let's say it's my right knee, I'm going to straighten that knee as much as possible and then take that side's foot and hook right at the edge of that bed. What I like to do with this one is wear shoes because it will offer a little bit more grip and also it will help protect the top of the foot just a little bit more. So make sure during this exercise that this foot is hooked at the edge of the bed. We don't want it slipping. It's our stable anchor point. Once we get that very good grip in there, what I'm going to do with my body weight is slightly lean forward to straighten my knee out even further and create an initial tension. We really want to feel just a slight pulling motion into the knee to begin with. Once we feel that, what I'm going to do from there is then really lean into it with my body weight. The more that we go forward, the more that you're going to feel that deep traction forming in the knee. Only go towards your comfort level. This one usually feels really, really good. And I like this one too because you're going to get a full leg traction pretty much from your ankle to your knee towards your hip. I want to hold this one for 30 seconds. If it feels good though, you can hold it for longer. But when you need a breather, just relax the knee, bend it like this. But try to do this for three to five repetitions. And with each repetition, try to stretch into it just a little bit more. And if you are having pain on the other side, you can switch to the other side and repeat. So here's two ways to help open up the knee, get some quick pain relief using just a towel. You want to start with a very small hand drying towel. The larger the towel becomes, the more traction, the more intense this becomes. Start off light and progress into it as much as you can. So I'm going to take my towel, roll it up just like this. Wedge it behind the painful side's knee as much as you can. And then what you're going to do is grab right in front of the shin, drive your heel backward towards your bottom. The more that you bring your heel backward, the more intense this traction will become. So you want to go to a point where it's a very comfortable but deep pulling motion into that knee. Once we feel that, we're going to hold this one for 30 seconds. You're just going to relax and then repeat this one up to five times. With each repetition, try to challenge yourself to drive that heel back just a little bit further. If you want to take this one to the next level, instead of having your foot straight back like this, turn it outward as much as you can and then drive your heel backward. You'll notice that it hits the knee just a little bit differently. So give that one a try. You can also turn your foot inward and do it. If any of those positions offer you more relief, throw more repetitions in at that point. You can take this one to even the next level by doing a little bit more dynamic movement with it. So drive your heel backward like this and then take your foot outward as much as you can Hold this for a second and then you're going to turn it inward and then repeat this one. You'll notice that again, it just hits the knee just a little bit differently. So try to do this one for 10 to 15 repetitions in both directions. You can also do a nice circular motion with your foot because it will help engage a little bit more muscles around the leg and the knee. Go through all of those positions. If any of them offer you more relief, again, throw more repetitions in at that point. So if you're looking to take the first towel exercise to the next level and get a little bit of a deeper traction in the knee, give this one a try. Go next to the edge of a bed. You're going to put the painful side up just like this. Take your foot, hook right at the edge of the bed, Take your toes upward towards the knee as much as you can. This will be our stable anchor point. From there, I'm going to start again with a smaller towel. The larger the towel becomes, the more intense this traction will become. And wedge that 
towards the back of my knee as much as we can. The movement from here is very easy. We're going to let gravity do all of the hard work for us. So what I'm going to do is take my bottom downward towards my heel, kind of like squatting down. The more that we go down, the more that you're going to feel a deep pulling motion in the knee. Go towards a comfortable but deep stretch Hold this one for 30 seconds. When you need a breather, just raise up like this. I try to do this one for about five complete repetitions, and with each repetition, driving down just a little bit more. So one of the easiest and best ways to get long-lasting pain relief for bone-on-bone -bone knee pain is by using ankle weights. They're very common, inexpensive, and you can pretty much find them locally at any sporting goods department. If you would like to get one online, I will leave a link in this video's comments section. So start off on a flat, elevated surface, one high enough where our feet will not be able to touch the floor. Edge of a bed generally works perfect. From there, I'm just going to place the ankle weight on the painful side. If it's on both sides, use two ankle weights. But gravity is going to do all of the hard work for us. It's just going to gradually start to pull our leg down like this and help open up that knee. Start off with a light ankle weight, you know, a couple pounds. If it feels like you need more, you can always gradually get ones that are adjustable to add more weight or just use multiple ankle weights at that point, but only to your comfort level. This is a position right here that you can hold for an extended period of time, several minutes. I've seen people watch whole TV shows in this position as long as it feels like it's offering relief. But if you do need to break it up, just take the ankle weight off as needed. I like to take this one to the next level by then putting some dynamic movement in the leg right here to target the knee and help open it up just a little bit more. So I'm going to take the foot right here and turn it outward as much as I can and then hold this position for at least 20 to 30 seconds. And then I'm just going to turn it inwards and repeat. If you feel like any of those positions offer you more relief, try to throw in about three to five repetitions. You can also do circular motions with your foot going clockwise and then switching over to counterclockwise. You can also do kind of like a pumping motion. So taking your toes away from you and then pumping pumping them upward towards your knee like this. If any of those positions offer you more relief, throw more repetitions in at that point. So if you're looking for a daily exercise to help open up a bone on bone knee, that is decompress it or take pressure off of it, banded traction is one of the better ways to go. I'm going to go over two different exercises. To start off with, we need a large resistance band. These can be found locally at any sporting goods department. I will also leave a link in this video's comment section for this exact one. Start off by taking a large hand drying towel and tying a large knot at the end of the band. You're gonna take the knot, place it on the back side of a door, right at the bottom, and then you're gonna close the door for a stable anchor point. Make sure the knot is large enough too where it won't slip underneath the door to come back and whack us. And if you are concerned about somebody coming in, just lock the door. So with the first exercise, whatever side that we're having knee pain, let's say it's my right side, I'm going to take that side's foot, place it through the band, and then crisscross the straps over the top of my foot like this. That way it's nice and sturdy and the straps will not slip off. I then want to make sure that my leg is going to be in a nice straight line with the therapy band. I'm then going to straighten my knee out as much as I can and then keep my heel on the floor during this exercise. The other knee is going to be bent, foot flat. Lie flat on your back just like this. The movement from here is very easy. Just use this bent knee right here to push yourself away from the door. The more that you push yourself away, the more that you're going to feel a deep pulling traction forming in that painful side's knee. It usually feels really, really good. I like to hold this one for an extended period of time, up to three to five minutes, but you can hold it for any length of time that you feel gives you the best results. If you need a breather, just scoot back like this and bend the knee. To take this one to the next level, let's put some dynamic movement in the leg to target the knee just a little bit differently. So get back into that original position, but this time around, take your foot inward as much as you can. You'll notice that it activates muscles and it hits the knee just a little bit differently. So give that one a try. You can also go all the way out with it. If any of those positions offer you more relief, spend more time in them. So with the second banded traction exercise, I'm going to start off on a floor with my knee bent roughly at 90 degrees. Doesn't matter if the outside or the inside of the knee is touching the floor. You just want your leg right here, the top part, in a nice straight line with that resistance band. Take a small hand drying towel, roll it up, place it behind your knee, and then put the resistance band over that towel. Once you're into this position, what I'm going to do is slowly push back like this until I feel a very good initial amount of tension being built at 
at the back of the knee. This band really is nice and taut, I should say. From there, I'm going to take my hand, place it right on the front of the shin, and then slowly bring my heel towards my bottom. It's very similar to that first exercise that we did with the towel in which we were kind of opening it up, creating a wedge with this towel, I should say, to traction open the knee. But let's take it to the next level. So build up a very good self-traction into that knee and now scoot even further away from that door. What this resistance band is going to do is cause even a further wedge to intensify in that knee, giving you even more traction. It helps open it up just a little bit more. And it usually feels really, really good. Again, with this one, you can hold it for an extended period of time, several minutes if it feels comfortable. You can break it up into any length of time that you would like. When you need a breather, just scoot back like this. But try to build into it over about three to five repetitions. And with each repetition, try to stretch into it even more to help open up that knee. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.